Hello everyone, today we'll see how we can use Excel to import and update our XML files. So first of all go to the data tab and then get external data and then from other, other sources. And from here you will select from XML data import. This is our folder dialog, you will, we will select the file that we need to import. Uh, we have it will all it always gonna ask you about this uh, about the schema but in this tutorial we're not going in detail of schema so just hit OK there's absolutely no problem in that and uh, now you have these three options actually we'll see how all these three works first of all we'll use the first one and then I'm going to create a new sheet and use the second option to show the difference. Repeating the same steps, exactly the same. Putting the same file again. And then now choosing the second option. So here are two options. We can see the difference. Let's choose the third one. I, now I'm not uh, making another sheet. I'm just going to the the same tab. Let me do it here. Actually, I cannot import inside a table. That's not. That's why they are inactive. If I go here in the empty um, cell, I will see all these options. So go back to the data tab. Repeat the same steps one more time, and then it will ask me the exact same things. And then I'll select new worksheet. So not a difference except it just created a new sheet between these two. There's no difference exactly. Exactly the same. So what is the main difference between this sheet and one of these sheet two and sheet three? Uh, you see that in this one everything is formatted as a table. So in if you don't know what table is in Excel, the table property can give you a lot of uh, options. For example, if you have a data, it really doesn't matter th that your data coming from which source. Is it X from XML or from a database or from any other other source? Uh, it can be a data that you typed by yourself, uh, and you can implement this table uh, by going here in the from the home tab format as table okay uh, so what what is the benefit of importing it as a table for example if you want to sort your information you can do that you have this option you can sort the prices for example I'm say right now it is from largest to smallest I would say smaller to largest it would do that for me uh, for example, if you don't want to find a, a specific thing, you can go to the text filter. Say, for example, begins with, let's say, begins with B. If I hit OK, it will give me all the things that begins with B. So we have a lot of options in the table. So this is the one of the benefits uh, importing data into, XM, into Excel from XML that we have a whole lot of uh, choice to analyze data I have a lot of options I'll show you one more option that is very pretty useful I, I like most of the time uh, if you go to insert tab you have charts let's create a chart and see how it can help understanding our data from XML uh, let's see it just created it really quick with no time Created it a complete chart for us to for the calories so you can see which one uh, has which one type of food have what type, how much calories. And I can ch change uh, in the different in, the, in different formats. It really depends upon you which one you like. For example, let's use this one. It looks pretty clean. Oh, I selected the wrong thing. Here. Oops. Let's put the calories over here. Uh, 
that is the one thing that you can use Excel for and let us just do let's see how it can update the XML file so I went to the price for example the price of French toast from 5 we lowered down it to 3.5 okay oh, it's good it's now 3.5 uh, it's getting cheaper so probably now it get we are using that good stuff so it, it might probably have more calories now because of uh, a bad quality oil that we used uh, so it went to 550 calories and uh, now we are going to save it at it as XML but before going to save it as XML I want to save it as um, the Excel file why want to do that it may be a question in your mind so I wanted to do that because I have my chart in it I have a table in it and I I made some settings for example you have not one chart you have couple. and you have for example this is a big data and you have a lot of uh, information in it so you definitely don't want to lose those charts and you don't want to recreate them um, so we want to save it as as an Excel file first and I can name it simple and then hit save so now save it as an Excel file and I also want to update my XML so to want to update your XML you would do same thing go to file save as you will select the folder you want to save your XML in and then from the save as type you will select XML data and we have that XML file already here in front of us I will select that file And hit save. When I would do that, it would ask me that the file is already exists. Do you want to replace it? I would say yes. I want to replace it. And because I'm now saving it as an XML, and Excel XML doesn't have ability to save our charts and our tables and our formatting, so it's asking me that if you save it as an XML file, you will lose the properties and options and all the stuff you have in your Excel file. So do you want to do that? I would, I would say continue because I already have saved it as a workbook. So I'm not going to lose anything. So I'm clicking OK. Continue actually. And uh, now let's go back to our file and see if it if it get gets updated. This is our Excel file. This is our XML file. So I would double click on our XML file. So we have seen that the price of uh, the price for the French toast has been changed. Also, the calories has been changed. One more quick thing I want to show you in our Excel. That what what else I can do? See, we have sorted our uh, food by the price, right? From the smallest to largest. If I want to change it, I can do that, and it will update our XML either. I'm going to largest to smallest and now I'm going again to save it in an XML format and Excel either so in the same folder so for the Excel I would select the same um, no, I'm going to, to save the XML file again select the XML data type like the same file it would ask me to replace it I would say yes Just ask me to give me the same warning that you're gonna lose the information from the Excel okay let's go back to the XML file and see if it got sorted now you can see uh, the highest price at the top and the lowest at the bottom so you have a whole lot of choices uh, and a whole lot of options to update your XML through Excel Hopefully it helps you and you probably would l do a lot more from your XML while using Excel. Thank you for watching.